The Navy posted the above video showing an animation of a Los Angeles class fast attack submarine Hartford surfacing in the Arctic Ocean last week for ice exercise 2018, or ice -X. Superimposed on the animation is a live action view of inside the Hartford as it surfaces. It's a tense moment to be sure, but professionals make it look like an easy, almost everyday occurrence. But surfacing submarines aren't the only thing happening at ISAX. The Hartford was joined by the Seawolf class fast attack submarine Connecticut and the Royal Navy's Trafalgar class submarine HMS Trenchant. The crews have set up Ice Camp Skate, a temporary camp built on a sheet of ice. That's why they are often operated near the most disputed waters and lands of the globe, including the Arctic Circle. Not one but two Los Angeles-class submarines surfaced at U.S. Navy Ice Camp Sargo, a temporary station on top of a floating ice sheet in the Arctic last week. The two subs, USS Hartford, SSN 768, from Groton, Connecticut, and USS Hampton, SSN 767, from San Diego are taking part in ICE Exercise, ICEX, 2016, a five-week exercise that include multiple Arctic transits, a North Pole surfacing, scientific data collection and other training evolutions during their time in the region. Navigating, communicating and maneuvering are all different in an Arctic environment as there are surfaces both above and below a submarine, said Commander Scott Lures, Ice Camp Officer and Tactical Commanding Deputy Director of Operations for Commander Submarine Forces in Norfolk. According to a U.S. Navy release, submarines have conducted under ice operations in the Arctic region for more than 50 years. The first transit occurred in 1958 and was conducted by USS Nautilus, SSN 571. The first North Pole surfacing was in March 1959 and was performed by USS Skate, SSN 578. USS Argo, SSN 583, was the first submarine to make a winter Bering Strait transit in 1960.
pros and never move again. So maybe that's... Check that they're alternate. 